uh, the body below the waist was completely paralyzed. The doctors told me that I will not be able to walk throughout my life now. After about one week of treatment only, I started setting up without support. And uh, now I just take about two seconds to sit totally uh, without anybody's help. Now if I stand on those calipers, I can stand for almost 40 minutes talking to anybody without concentrating that I am standing on these calipers. My balance really improved and I took my first step also. When I was in Indian Spinal Injuries, in the medical college in Jaipur, everyone said that this is your life and this is the improvement. Usually, the improvement of the injury in the last year comes to the last year, naturally it comes to the last year. तो मेरे तो साढ़े सात साल हो गए करीब इंजरी को तो मैं तो ऑलमोस्ट ये मान के चल रहा था कि वैसे ही रहना है। You see Parkinson patient like this, like this, like this. Then there's Gian Ajmera. Diagnosed with Parkinson's 10 years ago, he was confined to a wheelchair and dependent on others for everything. He couldn't even button his own shirts. He started stem cell treatment last September, and this is him now. <laughs> The spinal cord, um, my, my T11, T12 bones were, were broken um, and I had completely bent backwards is what they said. This is her now, after eight weeks of stem cell injections, using calipers but on her feet nonetheless. She's got back bowel and bladder control. Her leg muscles are growing, and she says she can feel sensation in her thighs. One, two, three, four. I danced my entire life. Uh, I was a ballerina. So she was completely paralyzed from the pelvis down. And yeah, had no certainly. feeling. Correct. Right? That's correct. And, and, and no bladder function, no bowel function. Okay. Nothing, no sensation of her body. Fifteen years later, I'm still sitting in a wheelchair, but my body is now coming back to life. I hadn't seen her for six weeks, so I was absolutely blown away, absolutely just amazed at the change, just to see she could move. She could move her toes, she could feel sensation, she could move her legs, she had muscle tone. But also the financial fact People that hospitals not. and insurance companies mm -hmm. are, make money mm -hmm. on illness not Correct. wellness. Correct. Right, and this is a place where everybody gets better. And so I'm living proof. Growing up in Australia, always into mischief and playing plenty of sport and doing that sort of stuff. Well, before I started treatment, I was um, you know, paralyzed the neck down, unable to move, feel, breathe. Um, basically, I could um, only feel my face and move my neck a little bit. And now, um, I'm able to breathe, unassisted, unaided, all by myself. My diaphragm works again. Yeah, definitely convinced. I mean, I've been paralyzed 14 years. I've been in a stable condition ever since I left hospital in 1994. And I came here in March to receive treatment and in April I started to breathe. So I'll put it down to the treatment. Um, nothing else has happened in the meantime that I know of, so. Perry's lobbied politicians like the former Australian Prime Minister John Howard and his successor to help him. He met Superman actor Christopher Reeve and became his ambassador for stem cell research in Australia. Cricketer Adam Gilchrist supports his foundation. 